Okay, so now that there's a bounty on you and uh, people are definitely going to be looking for you, you really think so? There's money on your head. Anyone who's anyone is going to try something. Not for that little piece of chump change, no. <laughs> I doubt it. At least no one who's worth their salt. Anyway, it could be very problematic when it comes to our operations. You can't really show up as a dead man. True. And if anything resembling you is found, yeah. Hmm. Damn. I mean, I could just dye my hair, maybe get contacts or something, but that wouldn't be enough, now would it? I doubt it. Hmm. Man, if one was a way for people to get off my ass. Well, considering that we've been doing vigilantism, wouldn't that really make it them consider maybe David Shield wasn't a good guy? No, no, I can't do that. <sighs> Seriously. I... Uh, this really has changed things. I'd hate to see what Melissa is up to right now. Oof. She probably hates me more than anyone. Oh, no doubt. <laughs> yeah, she she hates you. There is no doubt in my mind. Oh, what, what would the little bloodsucker know? I've been around her. What? Oh, yes, a little uh, blood donations from time to time. She's busy. She's, she's been doing a lot. What are you talking about? Well, she's got into guns. What? Oh, yeah. Heck, I ain't been to a shoe range where she goes to practice. <sighs> and uh, the targets are looking somewhat similar to you. Shit, look. Wait. Actually, what if I just tell her the truth? No, that wouldn't work. Why not? Because she's working with the Hero Association and the lab that both your dad and hers worked at. So, they're keeping an eye on her, no joke. Are you serious? Yep. And she, as well as everyone else around her, have been given orders to shoot you on sight. What? Oh yes, they will fill you full of holes if they see you. Oh, yep. <laughs> but I'm sure you have nothing to worry about while you stick with the shadows. <clears throat> Damn it, if only I could. Huh? I said I can tentatively create shadows for my own, but I need to be able to envelop myself in them or something. What? Yeah, I think for like this, if I could coat myself in the shadows instead of just teleporting through them or just moving in between, using them to hide, I could actually cover a great distance and have myself be heard. But I don't think I can do that. You know, if I could, it would be a lot easier to move around. Hmm. Eh, who knows? Maybe you can. You just have it, you know, practice enough. <laughs> you know, maybe you're right. But still, if only it can be in two places at once. <laughs> what is it? Actually, I have something. Proceed. You can come on in. But don't tell me you. 
This is a new friend of mine. His name is Twice. You allowed a stranger in here. Hey, he's crazy. Even worse. Hey, I'm not crazy. He is. What? Who are you pointing at? Twice just gesturing towards himself over and over again. This is like, oh. Why? Why are you doing this, Toga? What? His quirk is very useful. Okay. Show me. That's why he makes a copy out of... Yeah. Pretty much sludge of Toga. Him just being like... See? Now you can have a, let's see, uh, there's one girl, two girl, three girl, a four-way. <coughs> Toga being happy to hear that, Izuku being like, no, that's not what, that's not what we might need your court for, but, oh dear, that's, that's not, that's not all I had. Don't worry, they are highly durable, and I told you that's not what I need. <clears throat> Toga just... Can you make a clone of Izuku? Of course I can. I'll just need his measurements. Stay away from me. Wait. Oh, damn it. Uh, one hand, your quirk is highly useful and dangerous and volatile. Volatile. Oh, damn it. But I also don't want this this woman having my so a clone of me with my measurements. Okay, fine. We'll pay you and whatnot just for cloning. No, no, I just want. I just want to. I just want to be a part of something. What? Yes, Toga said you want to change your society for the better, and I wish to be a part of that. You don't say. Yes, I do say. You're crazy. You know that. You know who's more crazy? That guy. <laughs> of course. Yeah. Yeah. I, I guess you. I guess you are right. That guy is a lot more crazy than you. Thank you, bastard. What? <laughs> Nothing. Asshole. <laughs> Joker. I'm gonna kill him. I rather you didn't. Oh, if anything, yeah, actually, <sighs> good, so I have the job, see you tomorrow morning, assholes, uh, wait, I still have plans, so do I, I'm going to bed, uh, did, did that, uh, did he just, well, isn't he great? Toga, I love you, but you have some weird friends. Thank you. Of course you would see that as a compliment. Yeah, yeah, but either way, yeah. <sighs> that man, he is right, it's gotten late. We got so much to really think about, but I don't plan. For one, it's gonna be more difficult for me to be unnoticed with my face plastered on line and wanted posters and all that crap. <sighs> so what are we gonna do? What? Well, well, what can we do besides? Continue with our work. It's just gonna be a lot more difficult with a price on my head. Even though it is chump change. You you say that with the most sincere voice, but you do know, regardless how much a bounty is, a bounty is still a bounty. 
And you don't seem to understand. The more you're worth, the more dangerous the people are that will come after you. Or the more desperate. I can't deny you're right about that, but still. It's nothing to really... It's nothing to sneeze at. Yeah. And it's also not something you can just downright ignore. True, but still. That petty little bounty is an insult. Who cares? I do. <sighs> Man, you're childish. Hey, if, if I'm going to get a bounty, I want to be a big one. I want to be a one that... Like, yeah, this this guy might need to keep an eye out for him. Yeah, he must be dangerous. But <clears throat> seriously, that measly little pocket change is nothing compared to what I could really do if I let loose. Well, how about this? Do more stupid shit, and maybe they'll raise your bounty. I don't want my bounty raised. I told you more dangerous and desperate people will come after me. Uh, uh, are you serious? Yeah. You're complaining about your bounty, but also not wanting it to. No, fuck it. No, shut up. Just. Your stupidity is hurting me. It really is. I ain't stupid. You're not too smart either. Complaining about a bounty that's too small, but you don't want one big enough, so... Uh, just... Leave me to my work. Well, whatever. As time passes, and now we can cut to Melissa. In which she is testing out a lot of guns. Is Will is... Using her quirk, it's... Huh. I can't believe it's pretty much just a healing quirk. How am I going to be able to find this bastard? And I really wish I could talk to my dad again. I gave it anything to see him. Good day, Miss Melissa. <laughs> uh, uh, Uncle Mike? Yes. Yes, it is, it is me. Please don't shoot again. Sorry, I'm, I was just in the zone when it comes to, you know, yes, I understand. Uh, I'm sorry about David. But you need your rest. Oh, I... <laughs> no, I don't. See? Yes, you have a healing quirk, but it you can only heal yourself so much, and that doesn't rebuild the stamina you're using up. But, no buts. You'll find this Reaper person. Don't worry. Right now, just focus on your equipment as well as your training. But remember to get some rest. Ah. <sighs> Don't worry, we'll get him. David, he will be avenged. <sighs> you really think so? I know so. The bastard who did this. <sighs> so, how you be looking into. You know what? Yes. My friend, uh. He still doesn't know who, you know, planned that bomb. Right now, he's just still going over the, the car, his remains. There's this weird ash or something, but I, I really want to see him again. Izuku? Yes. 
I wish he was here. He was always well, the second smartest. <laughs> you two would always love competing over who got the best grades. And I do remember you tying a lot. <laughs> he wishes. I just wish I had someone to talk to my age. I was about to say you had me, but then you said my age, and yeah, you're old as hell. Uh, hurtful, but true. Well, you don't have to worry about it. If Subi catches this guy, he will answer for his crimes. Yeah, he will. Just pray that you find him before I do. Seriously, you know what they say, while on the path of vengeance, dig two graves. I've dug three. One more isn't going to make a difference. <laughs> Understood. So, have you been able to crack your father's hard drive and such. No. For some weird reason, it's heavily encoded. I can't crack it. I mean, my dad left me all his stuff, but nothing... Nothing seems to be easily attained. Well, he always did, uh, like his little puzzles. Yeah, you did. So, how's, uh, how are you liking UA? <sighs> it's fine, it's just I haven't found anyone to be a successor yet. There is this one boy, Kaski Bakugo, but, hmm. He seems to have an attitude problem. Really? Yes. If anything, he needs a kick in the pants or something, or being taken down a notch or two. His arrogance, though seemingly warranted, will cause him to trip at the finish line one of these days. Hmm. Anyone else? Hmm. Well, if it's also so, I believe his name would be Coda. But since the death of his parents, he's, you know, I mean, the kid, the Warhol's heroes. Yes. <laughs> so he just wants revenge. Yes. You didn't find that muscular guy yet, have you? Sadly, no. I fear for what might happen if we do find him. Well, what are you, what's, what are you going to do until then? Train these young heroes the best I can and find a successor, hopefully. But it's not gonna be easy. Well, luckily tomorrow we do have rescue training. Really? Ah, oh, yes, it should be very educational for them. They may see, see it as a, you know, boring, but being a hero is more about fame, fortune, being the bad guys. Yeah. Now I want to be like you, Uncle Might. True. But I want them to be better than me. That's going to be hard to do, you know. Anyway, 
Hopefully see you soon, Melissa. Yeah, Uncle Mike.